So let's go ahead and analyze this Sauce Labs test, which is very similar to the Browser Stack test. You guys can see here how that looks, also an init method and the actual test, and then a cleanup method. And of course, this isn't the best, the, it's not following the best design patterns, right? If you guys have some kind of a framework, you can of course put the setup and tear down in some kind of a base class that from which our test classes could inherit from, and then we don't have to keep recoding this but that's not the purpose of this tutorial the purpose of this tutorial is obviously for me to teach you how to do parallel testing so anyways sauce labs the way they had their code configured is passing in all of the browsers and operating systems is through the test fix attribute and then it goes to the constructor which sets the fields through the constructor and then that gets passed in into the desired capabilities class so I actually like that a lot more. If you guys remember the browser stack did a little bit differently where we were just setting our desired capabilities here. You can also pass it in through a config file as well, which is actually really cool and probably a good way to do it so that you can control your tests externally. And so that's that. And then there's the setup which they also do the similar thing where they have a username and an access key as does browser stack and then the actual test of course and then the teardown method in which they do a little bit of a cleanup and display a message in their results. So that's that, that's the Selenium test, but obviously not so relevant unless we're making it parallel run. So I'm gonna do the same exact things as before. I'm gonna take this class, which let me rename again as you see this problem with visual studio is why it doesn't rename the files automatically i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna paste it double click it rename it i'm just gonna do two tests at once rename the file of the class rename the constructor and that's pretty good i guess we can change this to run on chrome 40 and windows 8 and the rest is all okay it's parallelizable and it's got everything here uh, if we look at the test explorer we don't see sauce test 2 yet so of course we need to build so that our test explorer finds our tests give it a second it's built succeeded so now we can see pass test sauce 1 unrun test sauce 2 i'm going to go ahead and run them both run selected tests see running them together i'm going to pull up browser stack here Go back to my account and give it a second. Look at that running two tests. You want to view full screen, you can. I bet it's probably already finished, but you can see two tests were ran together. Look at this time. They started about five seconds apart. So you can pretty much see that's parallel, right? And then one test ran longer than any other. And then of course you can sit in here and analyze. You can see they ran on different browsers, different operating systems, which is really cool. And again, another benefit of parallel testing and why I'm a big fan of it and why I encourage you guys to learn this technique so that you can help your jobs as well.